How to use Fiverr for beginners in 2023. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with Fiverr in 2023. So let's get into it. Now to begin starting with Fiverr, you have to create an account and it's rather simple to create a Fiverr account. So all you have to do is go on to fiverr.com and just click on join on the top right over here. And once you click on join, you have three options. You can continue with Google, Facebook, or Apple, or you can enter your email address, which you want to sign up with. So I have previously created an account and I'm just going to log on with that account. But if you do not have an account, you just enter your email and create a password. Once you do that, you're going to have like a blank profile and you have to set up your gig and your profile. So in your profile, all you have to do is enter a description like this. So in your description, there are a couple of things you want to do. First off, you want to uh, make sure everything is spell checked. So you can see I just created this as a sample, but uh, you can see this has designing as a mistake. Make sure that your profile description does not have any kind of errors. Then you want to make sure that you're detailing your kind of work, what kind of work you do, how long you have been doing it, um, what kind of business ranges have you worked with. So if you're a digital marketer, are you working for large companies? If you're working for large brands and businesses, or do you like to do mid-sized businesses or small businesses? Then you're going to enter any of your languages that you speak and are fluent in. Then you also have linked accounts. So you can link your Facebook, Dribble, Stack, Mimeo, Twitter, all of those accounts over here as well. And then you have skills. So in your skills, I'm going to click on add new, and then you're going to enter your skill. So let's say I am doing marketing and then you're going to enter your experience level and then that skill will appear. Now, one thing to keep in mind is to make sure that you're entering your skills honestly and enter your experience level honestly as well. Because if you enter your experience level to more than it actually is, then you might get a job and then the client might require you to create certain things which are above your experience level and then you're going to have more difficulty in being able to do those things as well as establishing good rapport with your clients because building good rapport is super essential for any kind of business so that is something to keep in mind whenever you are entering your skills now after that you can enter your education and certification if you have any that is regarding your field or even if it is not directly related you can make a way to relate it to your business categories over here but it, it just gives a good impression to put in your education. Now other than that you have your basic profile picture. In this picture you want to use a picture of yourself and make sure it's straight make sure it doesn't have you know sunglasses or you're not wearing anything too weird to make sure it's like a simple nice portrait of you now other than that once you've set up your own personal basic information you have to set up the gigs that you can do so whatever service you are selling you are going to set it up as a gig on fiverr and you can click on active gigs and I currently don't have any active gigs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create a new gig. Now over here, you're going to enter what you're going to do. Now this is going to be the gig title. So I will create a social media marketing campaign for your product. But the other thing is that you want to place some other uh, keywords in this as well. So you can also, uh, you know, continue it because you can make it 80 words. So you can enter things like I will create a social media marketing campaign for your product to increase awareness and to boost sales, so on and so forth, just so it's a little more descriptive. Plus you get more keywords in the title. Now, after that, you're going to have your uh, category. So first, it's going to give you some suggested categories. If they don't fit, then you can choose a different one. But this one fits accurately, so I'm just going to select that. So first, you have your base category and then your subcategory. Now below that, you have your service type. So this is social content, and you can also enter, you know, social media management. But we're going to be maybe focusing on social media management or social content, something like that. So I think we're going to be focusing on content. And then we're going to add Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Yeah, let's say I work with uh, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. So maybe these are the three platforms that I'm going to provide social content for. Now, after that, you have positive keywords. So you can enter five tags, social media manager, so on and so forth. You can enter multiple different tags. I recommend adding all five. 
So you can see I've entered five simple tags over here. Once you have entered your tags, you're going to click on save and continue. You have to click on content type and I will provide text, images, video, and GIFs. Now, after that, I'm going to click on save and continue. And once you do that, you're going to begin pricing. So uh, over here, you have like three basic price plans you can offer. You have your basic package and then you can create standard packages and premium packages. First off, you're going to name your package. Then you're going to enter the delivery time for your basic package. So let's say I deliver in seven days. And then let's say I have, I do three keywords or hashtags that I provide and three social media posts, custom GIFs, custom graphic. Let's say I don't provide custom graphics. And then I provide one revision. And let's say I do this all for $20. Then you have Shutterstock Media. So any of the licensed images or video clips, but I'm going to skip that. Then you can also enter extra fees. So if a client or a person wants their work to be accomplished faster, they can choose to pay a little bit of a premium to get that extra boost. So you can add stock media, custom graphics, extra fast delivery, or you can just click on create packages and create your other packages as well. So I'm going to enter all the basic information. So let's say the delivery time for the standard version is six days with all of the other things. And let's say for that, I provide six keywords and six custom videos, as well as custom graphics. And I provide one revision and that is for $30. And then you can go on ahead and then create your premium version. So I'm just going to click on save and continue. Now I'm just going to click on save and continue over here once I've created all my packages and then you have to enter the description for your gig. So uh, this is going to show up in the first section when people are looking at the overview and they click on the gig and this needs to be detailed. This needs to uh, really convince your customer, convince the client to purchase from you. So you want to write something like, uh, hey, I will create a social media marketing strategy for you. This strategy will include multiple different Facebook posts as well as different brand directions directions and what kind of customer uh, market should you be targeting. This also includes certain keywords that I will recommend for your business as well as update you on the latest trends and create content in accordance to those trends. So you want to write something like that and after you do that you're going to just click on save over here. So once you click on save now after that you're going to uh, answer some of the basic questions that people might have for your FAQ. So you're going to add one question. What is something that you think people are going to ask you about this specific gig? So, so maybe I always want to ask people how many posts do they need per day because maybe I deliver in six days and I deliver three posts. So what should be the time and trouble that I am posting in? Then you have your videos and your images that you want to upload. So you can choose uh, three images, one video, and uh, two documents that you can attach to further illustrate your previous work. Now, it is mandatory to at least upload one image. So I'm just going to do that as a sample, but you're going to upload actual images of your work that you have previously done just so it's a lot easier for you to see your first you know to see your first uh, basic uh, gig so when your gig is out you want people to reach out to you and so that's going to be a uh, you know major part in getting you your first couple of gigs so once you've done that you are going to be able to start getting gigs now another great way is to go on ahead and browse the market. So if you go on ahead and click on the uh, market that is available on Fiverr, you can see the other people, what they are selling, what price points do they have, and that will help you in, you know, getting a competitive price and uh, offering your gig at a better price. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to get started with Fiverr. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. And I will catch you guys in the the next video.